easier. In today's challenge, we are diving into calculating the total commission for each salesperson and then sorting it in descending order by the total amount. It's a pretty common scenario, but it comes with a twist. So let's jump right in. First things first, let's get our data into Power Query. We have two tables, table 1 with our salespersons and their commission percentages, and table 2 showing the deals they are involved in and the sales amounts. We'll need to bring both of these tables into Power Query. To do that, select your table, go to the data tab and click from table range. Do this for both tables. Now here is the main challenge. These tables can't be directly combined because they don't have a common field. At least not yet. The common link between them is the salesperson codes. But in table 2 we need to do a bit of unpivoting first to get it in the right shape. In table 2 select the three columns to the right, those with the salesperson codes. Then click on pivot columns. This will transform our data, making it easier to work with. At this point, you might want to rename the columns to something clearer, so it's easier to follow along later. With the unpivoting done, it's time to merge our tables. Go to table 1, then head over to Home, click on Combine and select Merge Queries. When prompted, choose table 2 and pick the matching column, which in this case is the salesperson code. Once you've selected the correct columns, hit OK. Next, you'll see a small button next to the header of the newly merged column. Click on that to expand the data. We are only interested in the sales values for now, so select those. Now let's calculate the commission. Add a new custom column by selecting Add column, then Custom column. Name it Amount and enter the formula Sales multiplied by Commission. This will give you the total amount of commission for each deal. Almost there. Now we'll group our data. Go to Transform, then Group by. Group by the salesperson's name and use the operation SUM to sum up the amounts. Finally, to make it nice and tidy, sort the rows in descending order. If you enjoyed the challenge and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks in Power Query. See you in the next video.